Meet Hazelwood, the power station that supplies 25% of Victoria's electricity. It also coughs up almost 15% of the state's carbon emissions, 16 million tonnes of CO2 a year. Added up, Hazelwood has pumped an estimated 600 million tonnes into the atmosphere since it opened in 1971. It chews through 18 million tonnes of cheap, inefficient brown coal each year and 27 billion litres of water. In 2005, a World Wildlife Fund report dubbed Hazelwood the most polluting power station in the industrialised world. Hazelwood's carbon dioxide output outranks that of 120 countries. But Hazelwood doesn't just harm the health of the environment. As with the other Latrobe Valley power plants, asbestos was used in its building. A 2001 study found the rate of mesothelioma among power industry workers was seven times the national average. Latrobe Valley power station workers have a life expectancy 15 years lower than the national average. Hazelwood was privatised in 1996 by the Liberal state government, sold for $2.35 billion. The State Electricity Commission of Victoria had planned to retire the plant in 2009, but new owner International Power secured an agreement in 2005 from the Labor state government to allow it to expand until at least 2031. International Power has made attempts to curb some of the damage to the environment, but in May 2010, an accidentally released letter outlined the company's intent to resist any government-mandated efficiency measures that could damage profits. Two months earlier, IP said it might shut down Hazelwood if the Carbon Pollution Reduction Scheme passed through Federal Parliament. Despite the fact that the power station would have received almost $2 billion in compensation for expected losses in its asset value. Hazelwood has substantial bargaining power. Brown coal provides 92% of Victoria's electricity and it was estimated last year that it would cost the government $2 billion to close the station. Hazelwood. It's old, it's dirty and it's sick. <laughs> Who's going to put it out of our misery?